The Fruits and Veggie Land Crew's Big City Adventure, Veggie Heroes, Save the Day. Once upon a time, in the bustling city of Brightsville, the kids were known for their love of sweets and snacks. The city was lively, but the children often felt tired and sluggish. Little did they know, help was on the way from the magical town of Veggieland. Mr. Apple, the wise and cheerful leader of the Fruits and Veggieland crew, called a meeting in the town square. Friends, it's time to share our fruit and veggie superpowers with the kids of Brightsville. Let's show them the magic of healthy eating. The Fruits and Veggieland crew, Mr. Apple, Mr. Carrot, Miss Broccoli, the Berry Triplets, and the newest member, Mr. Bean, cheered in excitement. They donned their colourful capes and set off on their grand adventure. After a fun-filled journey, the Fruits and Veggie Land crew arrived in Brightsville. Their first stop was a cosy house where a little girl named Izzy lived. Izzy was known for her curiosity and love for new adventures. When Izzy opened the door, she was amazed to see the lively Fruits and Veggie Land crew. Wow, who are you? she asked with wide eyes. We're the Fruits and Veggie Land crew, and we've come to show you how eating fruits and vegetables can make you a superhero, Mr. Apple said with a friendly smile. Izzy's eyes sparkled with excitement. Really? How? Mr. Carrot stepped forward, twirling his orange moustache. I'm Mr. Carrot, and eating me gives you super eyesight and night vision. You'll be able to see in the dark and spot hidden treasures. Izzy took a crunchy bite of Mr. Carrot, and as she chewed, her vision became crystal clear. She could see every detail, even in the dimmest light. Next up was Miss Broccoli, with her vibrant green cape flowing. I'm Miss Broccoli, and eating me gives you super strength and energy. You'll be able to run faster and jump higher than ever before. Izzy took a bite of Miss Broccoli and felt a surge of energy. She sprinted around her yard, jumping over obstacles with ease. The berry triplets, in their red, blue and purple costumes, giggled and said, We're the berry triplets. Eating us makes you super smart, super happy and super fast. Izzy couldn't resist the delicious berries. She popped them into her mouth and felt an instant boost of happiness. Her mind became sharp and she ran faster than she ever thought possible. Mr Bean then stepped forward with a big grin. I'm Mr Bean and eating me gives you super strength and endurance. You'll be able to lift heavy things and play all day without getting tired. Izzy tried the magical beans and felt her muscles grow stronger. She lifted her bike with ease and felt ready to take on any challenge. As the Fruits and Veggie Land crew continued their journey through Brightsville, they visited more kids like Izzy, sharing their fruit and veggie superpowers. The kids were amazed at how fun and tasty fruits and vegetables could be, and they loved discovering their own superpowers. The crew also visited the local school, where they put on a spectacular fruit and veggie show. They performed fun skits, sang catchy songs, and even had a fruit and veggie dance-off. The kids cheered and laughed, excited to try the magical fruits and vegetables. The highlight of the show was a thrilling superhero obstacle course. The kids, fueled by their new fruit and veggie superpowers, raced through the course with incredible speed and agility. They climbed walls, jumped over hurdles, and balanced on beams, all while cheering for their fruit and veggie heroes. By the end of the day, the children of Brightsville were buzzing with excitement. They couldn't wait to eat their fruits and veggies and discover their own superpowers. The Fruits and Veggie Land crew's visit had turned the city into a place full of happy, energetic, and healthy kids. And so, the Fruits and Veggie Land crew's big city adventure was a smashing success. They had spread the magic of healthy eating far and wide, leaving a trail of fruit and veggie-powered superheroes in their wake. The Fruits and Veggie Land crew returned home, ready for their next adventure, knowing they had made a real difference in the lives of the kids of Brightsville.